June 16th, 2.23pm, write anything agency. Hello everyone, Triple S back here with Smart Apollo Justice Ace Attorney. I just want to say that I do have a bit of a little bit of a cold. I might be a bit nasally, I might sniff a lot, I might have to clear my throat. I have a drink here to help with my throat. So apologies for that, but I just really, really, really wanted to record some more. So here we are, and let's continue. What a train wreck that was. Glad we made it out of that trial alive. Really? I had fun! And Wookie made it through the day too! Everyone was too obsessed with panties to bother with the real case. But it was good publicity! Imagine the crowd at my show tonight! You should come, Polly! Yeah... The amazing Mr. Hat will be making an appearance! Hi folks, I'll be here all week! That's about enough of him! Hello? Ah, Miss Jella. Thank you for today. The trial went well. Oh, right. No problem. Do you think Walkie will be okay? Well, he's not guilty yet. Please, you have to help him. We're supposed to get married next month. <clears throat> oh, congratulations. Ah, way to put the pressure on a guy. Please let me know if there's anything I can do to help. Uh, well, we've got to talk to you first. So, marriage. Are you sure about marrying into the Kataki family? I'm fine with it. And I love Waki with all my heart. Oh, that's so sweet. So it doesn't bother you that you'll be, um... Married to the mob? I don't think so. My parents are against it, of course. See. Where did you and Waki first meet anyway? Good question. Miss Tiala doesn't look like the type to have gangster connections. Oh, we met at my old job, actually. Ah, uh, office romance. Dot dot dot. She's not very forthcoming with information about herself, is she? The Katakis. Did you know that the boss is trying to get out of the business? Really? Mr. Kataki wants to quit being a gangster? He's tried to transfer his assets into a normal company. He only announced it recently, out of the blue. I hear there's quite a lot of confusion in the ranks. Huh, ah, I wonder if this explains that apron. Looks like it has, I just realised it looks like it has, um, Retsuko on the front of the apron from, uh, what is it, Agretsuko, the show on Netflix? I can't imagine Waki going along with that. Hee <laughs> hee, he's highly motivated, isn't he? Um, that's not the word I would have used. He said I'll be the next big boss and keep the family alive. I think he's at that age when boys want to make a work mark, mark on the wor world. Can't speak. That's not the way I would have put it. His father moves in a lot of circles. He's really focused on priorities. The Kitagi family's been making a killing recently. Again, not the way I would have put it. But Wonky says it's not about the money. They have the gangster tradition to uphold. Ooh, a generation gap. You've even got the ever classic what about the family business thing going. Usually it's the father worried about tradition. Wookie's operation. Can I ask you a question about Wookie? I understand he was operated on by the victim, Dr. Maractus. Apparently yes. I was in his clinic about half a year ago. He messed up my up something bad. And then he just lets me go, without a word. See you later, bye! So I gotta go in, get another doctor patch me up again. Yeah, it sounded horrible. Wookie has always been fond of fighting, I'm afraid. I'm not sure it qualifies as fighting when pistols are involved. Mr. Gavin was saying his life might be in danger, wasn't he? N no, that can't be right. I'm sure he was just trying to scare us. Scared to think that a surgeon might make a mistake. But it's even scarier when he tries to hide it. I'd like to know a little more about this operation. Maybe it's time to pay the Maratis Clinic a visit. I should be getting home now. Walkie's in your hands, Mr. Justice. Right, leave it to me. Apollo, I think you're only making her more nervous. Sorry, I'm new at this, okay? Tee hee, it's alright. I believe in you. 
she's gone. Right, now we're going to move to the detention centre to start with, apparently. We're not going to the clinic yet. June 16th, detention centre. Visitor's room. Uh, looks like Walkie's out for questioning. Really need to talk to him. Guess we'll come back later. Excuse me? Yes? The other suspect is all through with questioning, sir. The other... Ah, you mean the panty snatcher? Wesley Stickler. So they arrested him too? Alright, let's have a little chat with Mr. Stickler. I hope I don't regret this. He is a valuable witness. He is a bit precious. I'll give him that. Please, keep this brief, if you would. I'm quite busy. I need to finish this paper. Ah, it's you! Mr. Stickler. We meet again. <laughs> We'd like to have a few words with you. That's a lot of dots. Very well, as long as they're few. Nothing would make me happier, believe me. So chat then. Panty snatcher. Mr. Stickler, on the night of the murder, you stole... Wait, I can't help but feel that I'm being misunderstood. How, exactly? Yes, that night, I obtained a pair of panties, it's true. However, it was my burning curiosity that drove me to do it, nothing more. You wanted to know the trick to my panties, right? You're here too? Huh? Oh, great trucy, teach me! Eh? Yeah? I must know the secrets of your panties. My very existence hangs in the balance. Please make me your apprentice. Apollo, help! I don't know, I think you'd make a great lovely assistant. Don't say that, Apollo. Uh, what you witnessed. Could you relate what you saw the night of the murder to us one more time? Why not? Though it hardly differs from the testimony I gave in court. The defendant was there in the park that night. Of this, quite, of this I'm quite certain. He was pointing a pistol, or something like that, at the victim. That's when I shouted, Stop you two! Let's resolve this like gentlemen! And the next moment a shot was fired. And this is all true? Really? My panties are gone, my innermost heart revealed. What further reason could I have possibly to lie? Could I possibly have to lie? Either one. I can't think of anything you'd want to hide more than panty snatching true. Sounds like Wocky was at the scene of the crime after all. How I wish it went so. We're done here? We're done here, okay. So, oh, apparently we're gonna... Oh, we're gonna move back to the, there because that's the only place we can go. And then we move to the Kitaki Mansion. <coughs> June 16th, Kitaki Mansion. Oh, there she is. Yipes, she's back. Hey, you two, over here. Uh, us? Yo, little plum, what's up? I think all this gangsterese is a negative influence on Trucy. I heard you retrieved my bloomers. Well, I was just just doing bah man please clearly and takes credit where it's due. You caught the thief, didn't you? Uh yes, sorry, I caught him. You're cute when you're nervous, Polly. I'll deal with you later. Read up about bloomers. What about my son, Wocky? Wocky? Oh well he's um clearly. Yes, ma'am! This is why I was kind of hoping we could avoid coming back here. Do we not, like, return the bloomers to her all? Have they already been given back to her or something? Uh, what do we do? Sorry. Oh, we talk about stuff with her. Wocky! He's really everything you'd expect in a boss's son. I'm going to be a gangster, dude. The life does have an appeal for that age. Particularly for boys. Dot dot dot. God, Trucy, you look so terrifying like that. You're like freaking, you're like a vampire. What? Don't look at me like that! Exactly. You were shot in a turf war about half a year ago. Yes, we heard the story from Wocky. But he didn't tell you the whole story. You know, even if he had a pistol then, he couldn't have shot anyone. What? He acts like he's hard, but he couldn't shoot someone to save his life. I should know, I'm his mum. Her words do have a certain weight to them. Hopefully when this is all taken care of, 
He and the boss can sort out their differences. Boss? You mean Rocky's father? They didn't seem to be on the best terms, did they? Uh, the case. It's true. One of our pistols is missing. So the murder weapon was from this mansion. I kind of figured given the difficulty of obtaining a gun these days. None of the rank could file of access. Only the boss, myself and Waki could have taken it. I see. I'm sure the cops will continue tromping all over the mansion because of this case. Maybe this is a sign that it's time for a change. <laughs> she doesn't seem to be concerned, at, seem too concerned at least. Uh, Alita Tiara. Yeah, Waki's fiance. We're getting married next month, correct? I suppose she's been staying over lately. You don't look too happy about that little plum. How'd you guess? Even I could tell that. Could you tell us more about her? Waki brought her home one day. Says he wants to tie the knot. I can see why. She's so pretty. Oh, she's pretty enough. But, you know. Eh? Nah, it's probably just me being suspicious. Stay in this business for too long. Stay in this business... No. Ah, and your stats will only see darkness in people. Right. You get a nose for it. A nose for people, a nose for trouble. Uh, I wonder what the problem is. It's like a gangster's only version of female intuition. Uh, father and son. The boss may act tough, but that boy means the world to him. But Waki seems, well, seems like he's against his father's position. Ah, uh, it's to be expected. We're in a bit of a transition now. I'm trying to cut our ties to the shadier side of the street and do more on the up and up. Waki isn't too enthusiastic about the change, it's true. But why the change? Is the gangster thing just not paying the bills? <laughs> it pays. We need a lot of money right now. Clean money, that is. I see. Huh, something must be up. They'll see things the way the boss sees them. Someday. Uh, we're done here. So now we've got to move. We're gonna go have a chat with Guy Eldoon. June 16th, Eldoon's house. Hey, it's Mr. Eldoon. Oh, Mr. Eldoon! Heh. <laughs> What's wrong? So you found my stand. That's why I'm here. To thank you. Ah. But now it's a crime scene and they won't let me have it back. That's also why I'm here. You got another place to go. Ah, I see. How can a dual stand be a crime scene? That's what I don't get, Trisidal. Even in death, he's after my neck, I tell you. Bah! Can't even cook an honest noodle. He? Even in death? You mean the victim, Dr. Maractus? I tell you, it's enough to drive a man to make his soup even saltier. Remind me never to eat his noodles when he's in a bad mood. Okay, let's have a chat with this guy. The noodle stand. That stand, for generations, it served up the very best noodles as old dunes could make. A tradition of noodles and salty broth. It's more than a stand, it's history, I tell you. Watch what you say or it might become true. That's a great story, Mr. Old Dune. Single stand passed down from generation to generation. Of course, to be honest, I didn't plan on doing it. That's right, you said something about that. About you rebelling against your pops, was it? Good memory, you said all. I, I was a go-getter back in my day. Until my friend next door butted in. In the end, I was left with nothing but this dusty old stand to earn my fortune. <laughs> Mr. Old Dude, I don't mean to pry. But what exactly did you do before you became a chef? Bah! The old noodles lie, that's what I say. I'm starting to get an idea of what he did anyway. He stole my dreams and left me with nothing but noodles. And now I don't even have that. Uh, Ractus Clinic. Mr. Aldoon, if I might ask, what exactly happened between you and the Ractus Clinic? Eh? Eh? 
couldn't help but sense enmity there. Enmity? God, that's a word I haven't had to use in years. I hate him. Uh, hated. Uh, him acting like he smells like roses when he's rolling in mud. Excuse me? He's the only doctor at that clinic, you know? Pretty impressive, eh? I'll tell you the secret to his success. The mob. You mean the Kitaki family? They're always having one of them turf wars or whatnot. Always an injury or two that needs fixing. Racked his sore chance for some business. So he started giving the Kitaki family a good deal. A deal? Every fifth operation for free. He stole the idea from my pops. One free bowl of noodles a week, he used to say. Can a doctor just, can a doctor just decide to do that? What about the insurance companies? Oh, no doubt it's illegal. But he got him in good with the family. Pretty soon he was getting all the business in town. Leaving me here in the dark. Up to my neck in soupy noodles. I think I figured out Mr. Eldoon's former occupation. Can't hurt to ask Apollo. Eldoon's past. Mr. Eldoon. Or should I say Dr. Eldoon? Figured it out, did you? That's right. I was a doctor. A surgeon. Until the year before last. So Mr. Maractus was your rival? You like those onions they put in the soup broth? Um, yeah, kinda. Take a spoon, you drink some broth, those onions will find their way in there. For people who like them, well that's just fine. For people who hate them... I hate onions, hate them. Always sneaking in from the side, getting in the way of my good tasting spoonful. Well, that's what he was, an onion. Onion boy, that's what I called him. Shrek? So you weren't exactly friends. Ha! Me and Pal Maractus. Ever since preschool we were getting in each other's faces. No matter what I did, sure enough he'd come following along. Then he'd do it better than me. Just blow right past without so much as a howdy. I see. That's right. I was a surgeon long before he was, you know. Then that no good onion boy comes along. Well, Juicy? Looks like we found ourselves a new suspect. Don't say that. Thanks to him, I was forced to trade in my scalpel for a ladle. Sorry, pal. Didn't mean to weigh you down with an old man's ramblings. No, it's fine. By way of apology, you ever get yourself in a spot of trouble, you drop by. Huh? You investigate your miraculous, aren't you? Yep. Well, you want to know about a doctor, you ask a doctor. That's all I'm saying. You just think of me if you need something, Trisha Doll. Right, thanks Mr. Aldoon. Huh, I guess the time spent listening to him and complain wasn't entirely wasted. Right. I wonder if I... Ah, okay. The... Oh. Well, we've got to check out this clinic, that's for sure. Yeah, but what about the guard? No harm in asking. Um, excuse me? Hey, it's you two from yesterday. That's the same officer that was standing out by the park yesterday. Your business is over in the park, isn't it? The clinic's off limits. Oh, Jesus Christ. The clinic's off limits. It's not involved. B but what part of off limits do you not understand? Show me proof that the clinic is connected to the incident in the park. Or beat it. No harm in asking. No gain either. No point in sticking around here, I guess. Right, so it's the triggers that do like pan left and right on like setting up controller stuff. Um, let me just amend my guide here to make it easy for me. I should have done that a second ago, but there we go. Oh god, Nemesi live update, please go away. Uh, so we move to the right anything agency. And we're going back to the detention center. June 16th, detention center, visitors room. Ah, yeah, I finished before you. Um, I was hoping to meet with my clients. Walking Kentucky's just finished questioning. I'll bring him out. Great, finally. This is the long detective part. I don't know if it's going to be cutting to somewhere. Yo, suck my little imposter. Yeek! What did you call me? The Sam, it's you. Sorry, G. I thought you were Alita. My little imposter sure is a strange nickname. It's a click thang. You wouldn't understand. D did 
did I say imposter? I meant poster, like poster girl, right? If you want to drop part of that, why not drop poster and just call her girl? Because she's so much more than that, G. She's like, she's like an angel, a fallen angel. <coughs> mm. So, what can I do for you? You don't look so chipper today, Walkie. Worried about your, um, heart condition, maybe? Hmm, that was the wackiest thing of all. All those G's lining up, taking eye exams. Better die young than fade away, bizoy. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, wow, I'm really losing my voice. A relief to hear. <coughs> what? What's a relief? Oh, did your father not tell you? That bullet you carry so close to your heart, if not attended to immediately, it could kill you. Man, I ain't trying to hear that. Man fights to protect what's valuable to him. You know what I'm saying? I miss my fallen angel. Hey, you go get Lita for me. You're my lawyer, aren't you? Lawyer, not gopher. Ah, uh, we've got to chat to him, yeah. Your fiancé. So I hear you to be married next month. Straight up. We poured the nuptial 40 out on the stoop. Alita. Oh, Snapple Cakes. She's so fine. I think he's smitten with her in his own weird way. I was wondering, how did you two meet? I asked Tiala, but she was very vague. Huh? Well, man, if she wouldn't tell you. I best hold my tongue, you feel me? What? Man, what's past is past. She knows that. When I'm with Alita, I feel like there's thing, there's things worth prote protecting out there. You feel me? And my Alita, she's down with that, that all the way. Uh, so both of them are mum about their past. Maractus Clinic. Do you think you could tell us what happened with you and Palmeractus? There's something you should know. Wikitakis are having what you might call a feud with the Rivalis family. Rivalis. So about six months back, I go into Rivalis turf, backing a knife, right? And you were shot. Call this thing I ever seen. One shot to the heart, but my homies went too late. It's a miracle that I lived. It's already considered one of the seven wonders of the Kitaki family, you know that? So you were taken to the Maractis Clinic then. You should have seen their faces when they will be in. You can't just let the boss son die, you know? I'd hate to have been in the do doctor's shoes. Mr. Kitaki's scary enough when he's not angry. But the bullet that hit you... It was never removed? And he's still threatening to... <sighs> he's still threatening his life. That doctor, he did it on purpose. The River Leeds paid him off, I'm sure of it. I need to hear more about the night of the murder. That much is clear. Walkie's future. Life in the family is a G thing. It's about being a man. You know what I'm saying? Sorry, I'm not up on my G things. Never sure what a G thing is. But my old man, he's gone soft. He says the old rival gang days rover. He just wants to make money. Isn't that a good thing? Man, there ain't no soul in making money. Better live fast and die young, faux shizzle. <sighs> Wait till I run the yard. Then everyone will know what time it is. That's right. OG time all the time. Represent. Apollo, why does he keep talking about old guys? I don't think that's what OG means, Juicy. Uh, we need to present something to him. If we can find it. Uh, presents. About these weapons, the pistol and the knife. They belong to the family. I struck him out of that night. So the killer Mr. Stickless says he saw that night was... I guess it was me. I was there after all. Yeah. Oh, we're finished. Um, Yo, Walkie. You think you could tell us exactly what happened that night? <laughs> you don't beat around the bush, do you? I like your style, shoddy. Okay. Talking some more then. Where is it? The night of the crime. Um, actually, there's a question I've been wanting to ask you for a while now. That is, uh, did you do it? Did you shoot him? I don't know. 
Eh? The day that... The day that checkup, when I found out about the bullet by my heart, I borrowed a gun from the family stash. Figured, figured I'd give that doctor a test of my own... Of his own bad medicine. I can't read. Uh oh, I don't like where this is going. But you were carrying a knife, weren't you? Oh, that? Yeah, well, never can be too careful, I say. So I'm on my way out. On my way to the clinic, right? When I run into him in the park, and he's dragging this noodle stand behind him. Wait, you didn't put him up to that? Like, you know, in the movies? If you value your life, you'll bring the stand. Shoddy, you're more whacked than I am. And that's saying something. But I was serious. The thing is, I don't remember what happened next to all too well. You don't remember? But the way I see it, if there wasn't anyone else there that night, then I guess it probably was me who did it, man. You know what I'm saying? That's not good. Okay, we're done with this guy. So we're gonna move to the anything agency. Oh, we're going back to the mansion to start with. June 16th, Kitashiki Mansion. Look at that crowd over by the park. Probably people trying to get a glimpse of the crime scene. But why are those girls screaming? I think I just heard one say, Oh my god, it's him! Wait, that motorcycle. Ah, if it isn't hair, forehead. Prosecutor Gavin. Some fans found me on my way out. Just my luck. Oh my god, oh my god, he's so cool! Plus the screams. New album just came out, you know. Try waving to them. They love it. Woo, woo, he's so cute. <laughs> They're so excited. Doesn't matter who waves to them, see? This is surreal. Um, so you were here investigating? And I was on my way home, and my hog gave up the ghost. Your hog? My motorcycle won't start. A clogged exhaust pipe. Too bad. Looks like such a nice bike, too. Hard to believe that it could break just from that. Ugh, it's my fault. I think I was using the wrong oil. Cars, motorbikes, they're all the same. Clog the exhaust and they won't run. Ah, machines. Tell me you share my angst hair forehead. I ride a bicycle, actually. Ah, <laughs> in any event, I'm off to the shop to get it fixed. The detective in charge of the scene isn't too fond of me. In any case. The detective? You mean the one in the lab coat? Yeah, she's in a foul mood. Two. Be gentle. I'll fit us in, baby. Oh my god, oh my god! There he goes! And the forecast for the part today gloomy Sykes, guys. Why did I say Sykes? <laughs> I got my thing mixed up. Well, nothing to do but head on in. Let's hit the park, Apollo. Okay. So move into People Park. June 16th, People Park. Huh? Does something about this scene look different to you? Blue taps are gone. Maybe that's it? Yeah, I think you're right. Look over there. The white frock detective from yesterday. She seems to be apologising reverently to the trash can. She's under a lot of stress. The investigation's probably not going so well. Hey, you there. If you're going to talk about someone behind their back, do it more quietly, please. Oh, this is this guy. Hello. You seem as gloomy as ever. This is miserable. Miserable. I just got a new kit and I can't get the stuff to work. And everyone's all smiles for the glimmerous fop. Glimmerous? Does she mean Prosecutor Gavin? More to the point, doesn't she mean... Glamorous? Wait, did she say something else than glamorous and I didn't read it properly? Glimmerous? Glam... I don't know. When he walks his shiny chains, catches the sun and glimmer in my eyes. It's distracting. No, she said glimmerous, not glamorous. Did I say glamorous? I don't know. Speaking of distracting... Uh, I guess I just have to accept the fact that I lack talent. Sounds like she's trying out some sort of new forensics technique. And we've got a chat to her. Detective Sky. This is Sky. You know Mr. Wright, correct? How do you know my daddy? I want details. 
Ah, oh, well. He helped me out a long time ago. You might say he saved me. Was she saying something about getting involved in an incident? I can't stand it when things are vague. Especially in any case. Especially in a case. I would have studied to become a forensic scientist in Europe. But you're a detective now? Well, I failed the test. But, you know, rank and title don't matter. What matters is what's inside your heart. I've always thought that too. My heart is full of science. That's why I bought this kit through mail order. And I'm going to test it here before the forensics team arrives. Are you sure that's okay? Prosecutor Gavin. I won't lie, I'm not fond of the man. Those glimmerous types always rub me the wrong way. Glamorous, right. A prosecutor should be cool of wit and furrowed of brow. Less glimmerous and more simmerous, you know. You're talking about Miles. No, actually, I don't. Well, that was what happened seven years ago. Prosecutor Gavin was the one who stripped Mr. Wright of his attorney's badge. What? Really? He was the one? You mean you didn't know? I thought you were one of the one of his boys. I'm neither a boy nor one of his, but let's see what she has to say. Um, what exactly happened seven years ago? Never actually heard the details. Then investigate. It's better you learned it for yourself anyway. Dot dot dot. Uh, true she knows. A new kit. <coughs> you mind me asking exactly what it is you've been doing? Swatting down on the ground like that? Ooh, you want to know? Do you? Well, I splurged on a new toy. You splurged? You mean it wasn't police issue? What is it? I see a roller and glue? This is a footprint analysis kit. Footprints. It was raining on the night of the murder, which means that footprints were left. Oh, does that have anything to do with those blue tarps? Right, the ground was muddy, so I had to protect it as it was that night. Ever wanted to know exactly where someone was standing? Like your panty snatching student witness, for instance? Aha, so with that kit... Right. What? Want to try this stuff out? Huh? Are you sure? I mean, sort of on opposing teams and all. Oh, pshaw. Your friends. And to tell the truth, I'm also good at doing this. Guess I'm a little clumsy. Could, I could use your help. No, I'm good at stuff like this. I used to make magic bunnies out of paper mache. Footprint analysis, huh? Well, should I give it a go? <laughs> nah, we don't need to do that. Yeah, let's do it. Okay, I'll give it a go. That's the spirit. The spirit of justice. Right, allow me to explain. <laughs> One moment. <laughs> She's reading the instructions for her kit. Why is this not filming with, with confidence? Oh no, am I going to start hiccuping now? First we have to pick the footprint. In this case, shoe prints we want to an analyse. Have we taken the liberty... Uh, I've taken the liberty of marking all the shoe prints at the park. Wait a minute. Well, which shoe print shall we start with? If we're going to verify the defendant's accounts, here's the place to start. Shoe prints prepared to be examined. Ooh, this is so exciting. Right, here goes. First, pour the plaster into the print until it's full. You try it. How am I supposed to do that? <coughs> uh, touch the screen where you want to pour the plaster. Like this. Uh, this doesn't look too hard. If you run out of plaster in your beaker before you're done, you have to start over. Uh, I guess I don't. I can't. I can't do. I have to do mouse click. There we go. Not bad. You're handier, th handier with that than you look. What's that supposed to mean? I'll do the next step. Um, dry the plaster until it turns white. Right. Just touch to direct the dryer. There. Give it a shot. Yeah, I have to do, I have to do mouse clicks here. This is this supposed to be touch screen. There we go. Looks like it's hardened nicely. Let's take a look. 
Ah, yes, that's a good one. Next, the ink. Ready for the next step? Use the roller to ink just the shoe print part. Hold on to that roller tight now and roll it up and down. Keep going till you get enough ink on there for a good print. There we go. Right, now the moment you've all been waiting for. Let's take our print. Ready? Here it goes. Splodge. Let's see if we get a match. Okay, who am I comparing this to? Uh, Walkie. Is it Walkie? Yeah, Walkie. Yeah, there we go. Comparison complete. Match found. So the shoe prints belong to Waki Kutaki after all. He was in the park on the night of the crime. Wow, I can almost see the signs at work. Don't you love it? Ah, nothing feels better. She's definitely way more into this than I am. Just let me know if you want to do some more. I'll be here, solving the case with science. Well, that certainly brightened her mood. Okay, so what do we do here? We have to do more prints. So, we'll print analysis. So this guy, mind if we give it another go? Right on, leave no print unanalyzed, I say. Now to pick which print you want to analyze. Okay, so we want the guide saying that next we want to do the green prints. Uh, there we go. Okay, looking good. Next to dry the plaster. Okay, let's take out the mold. This is why Apollo Justice is like my favourite piece of the game, because it's so interactive and stuff. Yeah, that's a good one. Thanks to the ink. Roll it up and down, roll it up and down. Right, now the moment you've all been waiting for, let's take our prints. Ready, here goes. Splodge. I like how the paper creases as well under the weight. You see it morph. Let's see if we get a match. Okay, and this will be Sticklers. Looks like he's got a nail stuck to the bottom of his shoe, a bent nail. <laughs> Match found to Stickler. So these shoe prints belong to Wesley Stickler. This confirms his testimony, the final version of it at least. Now we know where the panty statue was standing. And now we've got to do it one more time, I do believe. The disguise, man, if we give it another shot. I believe you're beginning to appreciate the wonder that is forensic science. Now to pick which print you want to analyse. Ah, oh, I can actually move this part. But then for this, there's no like cursor to move around the screen. I have to actually click, so. Very finicky, that. Okay, looking good. Next to dry the plaster. Make sure it's nice and dry. Okay, let's cut the mold. Huh, yes, that's a good one. Next, the ink. Yeah, there we go. Couldn't click it properly then. Now the moment you've all been waiting for, let's take our prints. Ready, here goes. Splodge. Oh, there's a leaf on the bottom of it. Huh, that's a funny shoe print. Is that even a shoe? It is strange, so smooth. Oh, it's not a shoe. Except for the part with a leaf. I can see without even looking that this print doesn't match any print on our list. Ah, mystery prints. Let's have a chat about this. Uh, wait. Yeah, yeah, talk about the mystery print. This print is far too smooth to be from a regular shoe. It's a shoe print of some kind though, that's certain. 
Still, you have to wonder what it's doing here. It's right next to the Eldu's noodle stand. It does make one wonder. Hey, you. Yes? Why are you so quiet all of a sudden? You wouldn't happen to have something in mind. Something that might have left this mystery shoe prints. This mystery shoe print does remind me of something. Uh. No need. Uh. No, sorry, no idea. Too bad. Wonder what it is. Something's familiar about that smooth surface. So smooth it's almost slippery. Well, you think of something? I'm all ears. And we're done here. Let me just amend my guide. I was kind of hoping that maybe we might get a to be continued here because there's a lot still left. I'm hoping we get a to be continued at some point because if not, this is going to go for like two hours. This detective part. Okay, so we move to the Kentucky Mansion. Uh, we pan. Oops, no. Oh, I can't. I can't pan right because I don't have because uh, court records there. <laughs> pan right. We examine. Uh, trash can. This trash can. This is where we found the mirror. Come to think of it, wasn't there something else in here? Something near the bottom? Look at the paint on these, that means... These must have ended up in here after Mr. Wright's accident. Maybe they're connected. Let's pick them up. Slippers added to the got record. And now we go back. We open the cot record. And it says we... Check these. I'm just trying. I'm just pressing all the buttons on the controller to see if it does anything. But aha! Examine. The bottom is covered with paint. Huh? What's this weird shape here? Looks like a leaf was stuck to the bottom when the wearer stepped in some yellow paint. So the outline was left when the leaf was removed. I got paint on my hand! Apollo! So you tried to wipe your hand on my cape. Okay, it says we look at the leaf pattern. The black toe marks. There's black toe marks? Where? What? Is it like inside? Aha! Eh. Eh. Ah, there we go. I wonder, could this be a print? Why would there be a finger? Oh, you mean a toe print. Good call, Apollo. But we can analyse it just like a regular print. This could be a vital piece of evidence. I've got to go back to the mouse again, so you're going to hear a lot of clicks, and I apologise. Nice smattering of dust. I bound, I bound the blow command to the controller as well. Hey, it works. That toe looks like a big toe, maybe? Wow, I feel like the case is sold already. What was next? We have to match the print, right? Right, let's match it. Wait. The detective didn't give us a list of toe prints, Apollo. Oh, good point. Maybe we should ask her. Get some expert advice. I guess so. Not sure she really qualifies as an expert. Wow, harsh. Yeah, we've got to go back to People Park now. Wait, we're already kind of outside of it, but we have to actually walk inside. And we talk. No, wait, what? It says we talk about the mystery print, but we already have. Oh, then we show evidence, right. This print is fatty smooth to be from a regular shoe. It is a shoe print of some kind, though, that's certain. Still, you have to wonder what it's doing here. It's right next to the yellow little no stand. Just make one wonder. Hey, you. Yes. Why are you so quiet all of a sudden? You wouldn't happen to have something in mind. Something that might have left this mystery shoe print. This mystery shoe print does remind me of something. Shoe evidence. I'm pretty sure I see something that would leave a print like that. You know, I think I have our culprit right here. Ta-da! 
Well, I think it's these slippers, actually. Slippers? What would slippers be doing out here? But look at the bottom, see? It's covered with paint, except for... See? Right here. Hey, that spot is shaped like a leaf. What if a leaf was stuck on the bottom and came off when the sli slipper stepped in paint? Ah, makes sense, doesn't it? Wait, something's written on them. The Maractus Clinic. Exactly. The Victim's Clinic. Wait, that means... That someone from the clinic was involved? Dot dot dot. Why is she just standing there eating? Um, Detective Sky, I have a favour to ask. But what? He gets access into the Maractus Clinic. The police won't let us in. They say the murder and the clinic are not connected. But it's off limits until we can prove they are. I should be able to do something for you, yes. Eh? Really? Well, you did my work for me here with the shoe prints. Seems like I should return the favour. Thank you, Detective Sky. Here, show this to the police officer on duty. Detective Sky's orders added to the court record. Right, right to clinic. Here comes justice. God, still no. To be continued. Um, move. Kentucky Mansion. Move. Eldune's house. Oh, June 16th, Eldune's house. Ah, you two again. When or when will you learn? Look at me, however you want. You're not getting in today. I wouldn't be as a show if I were you. Look what we have. What's this? Titty Sky. Dot dot dot. Yesterday it was Prosecutor Gavin, today it's Titty Sky. Who are you two, really? Now he's suspicious again. Well, you got the orders. I gotta let you in. Have fun. Thanks, Mr. Officer. Let's hit it, Apollo. And we move... Uh, not the garage. Into the clinic. And I'm just going to amend my guide a bit here. There's still so much left to do. Oops. Juice 16th, Morales' Clinic. Reception. Huh. Kind of an at-home sort of place, isn't it? This place has a connection to the murder in the park. I'm sure of it. Police guy out front wasn't so sure. Beyond it being where the victim lived. Looks like the police team's gone home for the day. There might be some clues lying around. Let's get cracking, Apollo. Okay, so we examine uh, the bowls. Look at all these bowls. They're from Aldoon's Doodles. They're Miss There's Mr. Salty. And I think we figured something out. I think we have. Mr. Aldo must do takeout. Oh, exactly what I was thinking. All the bowls have been washed clean. I think we found our first clue, Juicy. Uh, then we... Uh, oh, he's back up there. There's a single pair of sandals here. Wait, but why would there be sandals here? Unless they belong to one of the patients. Or maybe it's a visitor that's come to see Dr. Maractus. You think they'd use his house entrance instead of the clinic entrance in that case. And if this patient or visitor isn't still here, why'd they leave without their shoes? Better take a closer look at these, just in case. Sandals added to the cot record. Uh, okay, I guess we do the sandals first. So, cot record. To my mouse and thing. What am I looking for here? Oh, the black toe marks. Examine. Hey Apollo, you think this is... Huh, this could be a toe print. Maybe we can get a print off of this. Let's try it out. More furious mouse clicking! Woo! I think that should be enough. There we go. Hey, it worked. It looks like a big toe, maybe. But wait, I mean, it's great that we got the prints. But is there such a thing as a list of toe prints? Oh, good point. If there is, it says this guy didn't give us, give it to us. Which means we can't match this print. Seems like a good time to ask a detective's advice. Yeah, good idea. 
Did I just do that for nothing? I don't know. Anyway, back to examining. Uh, over here, there's an empty space on the slipper rack. If I could, there we go. These must be the slippers for the patients at the clinic. The same as the pair we found, of course. Look, a single pair is missing from the rack here, too. Now there's a paint on the bottoms, which means they were taken out of here on the night of the murder. Right, the paint's from the hit and run after all. But what were a pair of clinic slippers doing in that trash can? What were they doing at the scene of the hit and run? We will never know. Okay, and this door. Look, this door says doctor's office. Think this is the victim's private office? It's not locked. Too bad. Why too bad? I like opening locks. It's kind of a hobby of mine. Like those little bike locks. Don't even bother putting them on when I'm around. It's probably not a hobby you want to tell too many people about. Ooh. Uh, Apollo! That sound! You came from behind this door! Someone's in there. Let's check it out, Trucy. A break in! They left through that window. Wait, Apollo! You're too late to catch them now! That must be her experience as a panty snatcher chases think talking. Thinking talking thing. Well we should tell the police. Let's check the room out first, Apollo. If we call the police now, we'll lose our chance. You're right. She's better at this than I am than I am. Well one thing's for certain. This clinic and our murder cases are looking pretty related now. Okay, we examine this lamp. Kind of an expensive looking lamp, isn't it? Hey, the bulb's broken. Broken? Don't you mean burned out? No, our cat burglar must have dropped it. Why is it standing up on the floor like that then? Hey, look at the cord. Huh? There's a red splotch on a part of the cord. You think that's blood? It's all bright for blood, almost pinkish. Something's definitely odd about this lamp, that's for sure. Lamp added to the cot record. And we examine the safe. What a cute little safe! Uh, looks like a four digit lock. Ooh! Someone's already entered in two numbers, Apollo. Seven, nine. Wait, do you think? That burglar just now was trying to open it? I wonder what's inside this safe. Huh, is there a way we can figure out the last two numbers? Well, we know the first two are seven and nine. Maybe there's something in the cot record. Something that can help us figure out the last two numbers. Huh, I wonder. I've got just the thing. Well, I have an idea. I knew it, Apollo. What is it? Well, all we have to know is what buttons have been pressed. We can use this to find out what the next two numbers are. The fingerprint powder. When you press the buttons, you'd have to touch them. With your finger, right? You would leave a print. When you open a safe, you don't press any other buttons but the right ones, right? So if we can find the buttons with fingerprints, we'll have the safe code. Not bad, Apollo. Okay, time to dust. So we've already got seven and nine. We'll just dust every everywhere, really, I think. I think that's good. Look, you can see the oily finger residues clearly. Look at seven and nine. These are glove marks, the burglar must have been wearing them. Well, we might not be able to identify the burglar, but we can open this safe. Let's give it a shot. Okay, so what is actually the code here? Alright, it's five then two. Five two. It's not two five, it's five two. There we go. I bet if we put in two five and say, oh that was wrong. Let's try again. It opened. Uh Okay, so we'll look at the file first. This looks like a medical chart. There's an x-ray in here with it. An x-ray. Huh, I can't make heads or tails of it. And I can't read the chart either, it's all in medical speak. But the names are easy enough to read. Look, by patient it says... Walkie Kitaki. So this is Walkie, our client's chart, huh? Why would this one chart be here in this safe? Let's see, the physician's signature says Palmaractus. Huh? Where's it, Apollo? Look here where it says, who filed the chart? 
Let's see. Nurse Alita Tiala. Alita Tiala is Rocky's fiance. That's one eater too many, Apollo. Oh, did you say something different? I didn't see it. Never mind that. What's her name doing here? How should I know? Though I guess it means she's on staff at this clinic. I thought she'd neglected to mention this before now. I'm sure she had her reasons. So Alita Tiala worked at the Maratis Clinic. And she had access to Walkie Talkie's medical chart. You got the I and wrong. I and Y wrong. I'm reading this how my brain sees it to be read. I'm not reading it wrong or saying it wrong. I'm, re I'm seeing it and reading it how it's supposed to be thinking because that's why my brain's seeing it. I'd be very interested to find out what this chart says. Was it like a lighter tile? I don't know. Who could help us decipher this? Look at chart. Oh, this is the cot record. Uh, oh, yeah, there's a hole there. Is that a gunshot? Looks like a bullet hole. Oh, you can still see the bullet sticking out of it. Why is it in the middle of a safe? Hey, the bullet came out. The tip is all squished. Not surprising given that it was fired into a metal safe. This bullet's got a story behind it, that's for sure. Bullet enters the cot record. And I do believe we're done here. So we're gonna move all the way back to People Park. So the Maratis Clinic. Move Dude's house. Move. Kentucky Mansion. Move. People Park. I know that face. That's the face of someone who's made a discovery. Hey, how'd you know? You can't feel someone untrained in the ways of science. Next, you'll have us analysing face prints. Let's ask this guy to help us, Apollo. Uh, I'm just going to mend my guide here, because... God damn it can get a bit confusing. Actually, now we're not actually that far away from finishing, so it might only take us about like an hour and twenty minutes or something, I don't know. Uh oops. Gotta re-click it to the game window, the emulator window to use the controller. Uh sandals. Presents. These sandals. That's quite a clear print there. A toe print. Too bad we don't know whose toe is it toe it is. Well, there is a way of finding out, of course. There is? What? All you need is a sample of the same toe prints off another shoe, for instance. Oh, right. So the prints matched, you'd know the same person wore both. Huh, do I have another shoe worn by the same person? Uh, got one right here. I think I just might, actually. Really? I'm beginning to suspect something here. You take this guy. You compare this sample with this other prints. Uh, let's go this way. This pair of slippers, toe print and all. Ooh, the print on these is nice and clear too. That makes our job easy. Can you analyze it for us? Of course, hang on. Bingo, gosh, I'm good. Hey, we were the ones who found the prints. The perfect match. The same person wore these sandals and slippers. I was afraid of that. All you have to do is find out who these sandals belong to. Or do you already know? I can't say. Not yet. Well, that's one big step closer. To the truth. Uh, what the hell do we do now? Oh, we're done here again? I think? Yeah. So move Kentucky Mansion. We move... Right, anything agency. And we move... To the Hickfield Clinic. Juicy theme, Fitfield Clinic. Ah, the prodigal attorney returns. Welcome, Apollo. I heard you did well in the trial today. Need to discuss something? I could use a little diversion. What did this guy say? If you want to know something, you have to investigate it yourself. Mr. Wright, tell me what happened seven years ago. Please. I want to know. I need to know. You certainly didn't waste any time getting to the point. Let's have a chat with old Phoenix here, seven years ago. Seven years ago, I was standing in a courtroom on behalf of a client. The case involved the death of a certain magnificent genius. I'd be surprised if you haven't heard about it. It was all over the news, I remember that. You were up against Prosecutor Gavin, weren't you? Yep, he was only 17 years old at the time. 
Jesus Christ, really? 70 years old? That's still high school. We took the bar exam abroad in Europe. They're progressive over there, you know? Hell yeah, we are. Although saying that, UK is trying to leave Europe, so we're going backwards. <laughs> I was defeated by a 17-year-old newcomer. In my shame, I left the practice forever. That's all. That's not true. I know for a fact that's not true. That's all? How could that be all? What do you mean? What about what they were saying on the news about forged evidence? Yeah, exactly. That's what I was thinking. Dot, dot, dot. They said you forged evidence and had your attorney's badge stripped from you. Dot, dot, dot. Forged evidence. Tell me, how does it feel? How does it feel to stand here before Phoenix Wright, the forged attorney himself? How does it feel? I, I know what to believe is true. But what about what happened in my first trial? Didn't you notice in today's trial? There is a single piece of forged evidence. I'm talking about the evidence that shouldn't have existed. A naughty magician's trick. <laughs> I don't see you jumping to my defence on this one. Maybe I did forge evidence, maybe I didn't. Doesn't really matter now, does it? But, but, I'm not an attorney anymore. That's the only truth you need to know. Mr. Wright. Looks like he doesn't want to talk about the accu accusations of forgery for now. We're done here? Wow, we're moving around so much. Move. Right, anything agency. Move. To the detention centre, we've got to talk to Walkie again. Jewish things detention centre. Visitor's room. Don't cry, Angel. Daddy's back and Daddy's... Oh, you again. You always have, a, have to announce your entrances like that. Man, my old man, he... Man. I'm all in a funk. And it's his fault. One can only assume that his father tried to teach him a lesson. And failed, clearly. You two got your work cut out for you. Straight up. Because I don't care if they lock me up. I'm ready to go. Some days I wonder why I, did what I, I do what I do. Uh, Talk. Guilty verdict. Hey man, you won't see me bugging about one or two guilty charges. What if you're found guilty of murder? Hey, it's all experience, you feel me? Shorty, like a badge of honour. They don't give the death penalty, do they? You didn't really do it, did you? Maybe I did, maybe I didn't. If I've learned one thing today, it's that silence speaks louder than the words. Your father. Man, my old man is whack. Disappointing, that's what he is. I heard he wants to lead the mob. Over my dead body. I spend my life trying to keep it real, being an OG and never stepping down. And my old man wants to go soft? Fine, let him. Just leave me out of it. <sighs> the day I get out of the clink, that's the day Elita and I sat the next generation of the Kitaki family. Please don't talk as though it's assumed you're going to jail. For my sake. We've got to present something to him now. Uh, where is it? It's chat. Huh? What's that? Some kind of x-ray? Wait. That's right, Walkie. It's yours. Hey, look. I don't smoke or nothing. I'll live long, right? I don't think he gets it, Apollo. I'll take a closer look. Here in particular. Where it says, Nurse. It's signed, Alita Tiala. Huh. You lawyers do your homework. So, you met Miss Tiala when you... Yep, I met her at the clinic. So? Tell us a bit about the circumstances of your meeting. Fine, fine, I'll tell you how we met if you want to know that bad. Finally, he's going to talk about it. Wocky and Alita. About half a year ago, I was shot during a little turf war with another family. I was ready to die, sure. But they came in and got me, hauled me off to the docks. The Maratis Clinic? That's where I met her. My fallen angel. You mean Alita Tiala? She was scared of me at first, turns out. But you know what they say, the bad guy always gets to the ladies. Right. She was done with that clinic anyhow. So I was like, I'll take you on, woman. Straight gangster style. Guess what she said. What'd she say? Come on, give it some thought. She said it real quiet like, on the down low. You know what I'm saying? I'll leave if you'll marry me. Marry me. So that was, that was the proposal? You know it, an oath of love, right there in the hospital room. Just like that, the op was done and we were out of there. 
See you later, bye. Um, about that up. Yeah, it didn't go so well after all, did it? I know about the report. I know it's still in me. Health checkup. This health checkup was the boss's ID, he said. Yeah, can you imagine? What's the point of living healthy when you're a G? You know what I'm saying? But didn't you learn about the bullet at that checkup? Yeah. That's when I knew that doctor had to pay. Figured I could get that cat pulled after I got my revenge. And hey, I'm still living large right, right now, aren't I? Incidentally, had you ever had a health checkup before? Now the old man suddenly gets this idea that we all gotta get, get checkups. Guess he's getting old. Older, I mean. Okay, now I need to present again something else. Uh, sandals. Walkie, you don't happen to recognise these, do you? Hey, sure I do. I was the one who bought them for her. For Miss Tiala? Yeah, birthday present. She's got mad little feet. Mad, so cute, man. So these sandals are hers. Yeah, I kind of had a feeling. What's up with the funky vibes? <sighs> sandals updated in the court record. We're done here. We're done here. Move. Right, anything you can see? We're very nearly done. Move. Eldoon's house. June 16th, Eldoon's house. Mr. Eldoon, we've been looking all over for you. What's the matter, Tracy doll? Apollo, show him what we found. Nothing like expert advice. I suppose he is a doctor still. The doc. <laughs> Mr. Aldoon, is everything okay? I'm just so happy. I just thought my doctor days were gone for good. <laughs> Mr. Aldoon. So present to him. Walkie's chat. Uh, Mr. Aldoon, could you take a look at this? Huh, medical chat? Hey, you shouldn't go around taking these from clinics. Dot dot dot. Why the sudden silence, Mr. Aldoon? What? What's going on here? That's what we want to know. That chap belongs to my clients. He's on trial. On suspicion of murder. On trial? That's crazy. You can't put him on trial. He's ABD. ABD? All but dead. He's knocking on the pearly gates and someone's about to answer. C can you tell us why? Dot dot dot. Oh my god, that's not his hair! <laughs> it's always really weird to see him do that. Well, permit me to speak as a surgeon. You listen up good now, son. No way. It's like he's a completely different person. Uh, he's been talking. Walkie's chat. Well, according to this chat, this walkie-tacky fella's not doing so well. He's got a bullet right up beside his heart. That's right. Yeah, but this chat talks about the post-op. In other words, the operation is already finished. But you can still see that bullet stuck in there. Why would it still be in there after the operation to remove it? Well, about the only reason I can think of is it was too tricky to operate on. What? That bullet snug as a bug there next to the aorta, which is connected to the heart. Heck, that scrap of metal is just surrounded by blood vessels. Kind of a miracle. Two millimetres to either side and there'd be some serious bleeding going on in there. Not something your average doc would be eager to fiddle with. Y you mean? It took a miracle to get that bullet stuck where it is. It'd take more than a miracle to take it out. It'd take a magician. Da -da -da. Um, I'm only up to making rabbits disappear. I haven't learned bullets yet. Of course, with the heart pumping and lungs working, that bullet's on the move. I'll give him another half a year at tops. But, but Walkie's operation was already half a year ago. That's why I'm saying you're out of time. This kid should have been on, shouldn't be on trial. It should be on an operating table. Great, just great. Maratis's dilemma. How could Doctor Maratis do such a terrible thing? How could he just leave that bullet in there? I got a pretty good idea of how he felt. An emergency operation, he's got the kid's chest open on the table. Then he finds that bullet. That's despair right there. Truth to doll, call despair. Despair? But the only thing he could do is sew the boy back up. He wasn't exactly in the situation to go out missing, he couldn't take it out. The Kitakis? You bet. 
This kid's their only son, I hear. So he skips the operation and walks back on the street, living his life. Of course, it's only a matter of time before his heart hemorrhages and he drops cold. How awful! And which doctor would they take him to? Maractus. He's got enough ties to them, he could probably cover up the truth of what happened. That's just horrible. You may walk it to die. There's a darkness in this world treated all, waiting, hungry. Compared to it, these gangs as turf wars are like kids games. When you're up against real evil, well it don't matter if you're weak or strong, it'll take you all the same. Dot dot dot. You were a surgeon right Mr Aldoon? You could operate on walkie couldn't you? I wish. What? I'm afraid there ain't nobody in the country that could. Maybe not even in the world. So, so Wookie. He's real lucky to be alive even now. No. There's one problem. Apollo? This chart, look at the nurse section. It leads to Yala. That's right, this operation was how they met. Yeah, the problem is she knew. She knew about Wookie's condition, guaranteed. Ah. Why didn't she ever tell him? Dot dot dot. Doesn't make sense. If she knew her patient was in serious danger, you'd think she'd want to get the second operation before getting engaged. What was she thinking, Apollo? What were you thinking, Elisa Ciala? Finally, to be continued. She was thinking about that money she'd get after marrying him and him dying, she'd get everything off him. Off, off him. God, so there we go. <sighs> an hour and eleven, an hour, an hour and twelve minutes, really. It took us to do all of that. So, thank you for watching. Next time we're going to be back in the courtroom. We'll have to deal with the fact that uh, Wookie's really lucky to be alive. Alita Tiala's uh, sandals were found in the clinic, and the slippers were missing, which kind of points to like she took the sandals off to put the slippers on. So then that would place her at the scene of the crime. Wearing the slipper. Huh. You know, it's all kind of coming together, sort of. So, anyway, that was a long video. <laughs> Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Good. Bye.